It's video game time! Hello and welcome to something special, something I haven't done in a long time. I got myself a collector's edition of a game, and uh, one of the big features was that it comes with a figure. So that's why I wanted it. We're talking, of course, about the collector's edition of Soul Calibur V. Oh, finally, um, Soul Calibur is back after the fifth one was uh, not so great. We got the Sofitia figure, that was really the thing where I looked at and I was like, you know what, I want to collect this edition. I was mildly interested in the game already, but uh, then I saw the figure and I was like, I was hooked. Unfortunately, it's not a Taki figure. I would have liked the Taki a lot more, but uh, let's have a look at the box. Wow, this, this, this design, this art, this art is great. This looks very beautiful. And we got the blade, Soul Edge. On the side, and another picture of Sophia. There's also some bio. You can read that if you want to. Just pause it right here, right now. I'm not gonna read that. I don't have time for that. Let's have a look at the figure. There's another picture of Soul Calibur. Moving on. So, uh, yeah. Color me impressed. I didn't really expect that much from this. Because recently, when I picked up collect editions of like video games, and you got a figure with it, the figure was usually pretty meh. But uh, this one, I think we have a winner. But let's have a look first and foremost. She's way too big, way too tall for my entire background. So I'm just gonna see how we do this. She stands to the top of her sword to almost 40 centimeters. And if you go into the top of the head, it's like a little over 20, 27 centimeters overall. So she has some height with the sword and everything that goes on to it, that goes into it. But uh, I wanna have a look at the sword actually, the nice detail. You have all these scriptures in it, the Omega sword, and uh, what was it? I forgot the name of the shield now. Her face is very Barbie-like, quite frankly. I don't really mind it, I mean it looks clean, it looks nice. They try to go for a little bit more realistic look. And even though I would have preferred to just, you know, uh, the look on the box, which was a bit more Animu, that would have been nice. The hair! Hair is so nice and more. Look at all the detail that flows through it. It seems like every single hair piece. And then we got the olive branches or whatever she has in her hair. Those are metallic. I don't agree with that. It's supposed to be a plant. It's supposed to be a branch. You don't make that metallic. But regardless of it, it still looks nice. It's one of these things, it doesn't look like a plant if you're doing it metallic. But it still looks nice on the figure. Speaking of looking nice. All the cloth, all the parts of her dress are really in like a pearl white. And you got all the small detail going through that. The gold in the armor also has tons of stuff. Molded detail in it. And I also made a little bit of dry brushing. So it has some some darker parts in it. Which makes it, makes it look even better. Here's a look at the boobage. The black lines that go around, kind of like the string. Very, very cleanly molded also as well. You know, often with these things, when, they, when they're connecting to a part over here, there's like, overall a little bit too much plastic. But no, they nailed it. And uh, even the cloth part, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it, there's some also molded detail texturing going on throughout the entire blue. Uh, the white is a bit more clean, but you have the wrinkles. And it is a bit see-through, but not too much. And just want to have another look at the back. At the lines that go down over there, and uh, hmm, what is this? What is this? Is this hair? I think that's hair or something. Yeah, I'll try to get it off later. I got a little bit off, but a uh, little bit of a black line, and you have the uh, the ribbon in the long braid. And let's go down to the shield. Now the shield has some spots on it, which uh, I'm guessing are quality control issue. Or you could say they meant to do the dirt effect, but nothing else about this figure has any dirt on it. So, uh, I think it's just quality control. But then again, like I'm saying, I don't mind it because you could say, oh, it's just like battle from the battles. She has a little bit of dirt on it. Have another look at the armor. A nice little elbow piece going on there. Yes, I'm, I'm looking at the elbow piece, but we'll, we'll get to the butt. I'll give you a good look at that. Don't worry about it. A little bit of talisman thing going on. And the entire simple belt going around and more detail in her skirt with some gold going on 
big fan of this. And look at how clean this is painted. First of all, this is molded. But really, the goal line, I don't see a slip up anywhere. So that's great. And then, yes, the Pansu, the glorious butt, and the very, very white and clean Pansu. That's very cool. But what's even better, and here's one of my favorite parts, honestly the boot. The boot is so nicely done. I mean, first of all, again, you got the texturing in it that looks makes it look like real leather. But then, look at the strings over here. Look at the strings and the gray parts that hold it together. Is there one color slip? Is the black a little bit too thick? Is the gray going over it? Ah, that's just that, that tiny bit over there. But that doesn't even count. Like, that was the thing that really caught my attention and I looked at these boots and I was like, wow, this looks very nice. And it doesn't focus right now on the camera, so I'm gonna stick to it. Got more detail in this little golden piece. And the thighs. She is thick. She is a bit thick, I'd say. And then we go down to her armored feet, shoes, whatever. Well, more like shoes. Also, design-wise, it looks crazy, but it looks cool. And very nice, shiny. The gold buckles, nicely painted. And he got another symbol, kind of like a logo going on, on the bottom. Everything, I like, just everything is chock full of detail. They didn't forget anything. Also goes all the way around. Has also a little bit of gray dry brushing. I mean, it's more like the brighter. I think it's molded in like a gray. And I made the white. A little bit on the tips of the uh, of the symbols. And I actually want to know, like, you have Soul Calibur 5, but who made this? Pure Arts. All right. Something to look out for. So Pure Arts delivering a good job. So I mean, yeah, that's I showed you everything. Just gonna give you a spin around and um, just gonna bring you to the final thoughts. I mean, the one thing I can mention is that you can't take out the sword. That's really the only thing. And the sword also has battle damage. I didn't really talk about that, but you can see it. Does it have? Yeah, it's on both sides. Just like there's, there's a little bit more on this side, I think. Ah. No, really, same thing. So I have some battle damage in sword. She looks great, and uh, yeah, overall, final thoughts of this figure. Of course, this is part of a game package, and uh, looking at it, this costs like 150 bucks. So saying that, with the game being 60, this would be a 90 dollar figure. You can give or take. I mean, there's also like DLC stuff in it. You wanna, you wanna add a little extra 10, and it's just 80 bucks. Or uh, regardless of how you look at it. I think this figure is worth it. I'm really super impressed. As I said at the beginning of this review, recently when I bought, when I bought figures for like collector editions, it was bad. I mean, the last one I remember was the Arkham Knight figure, which didn't have any paint, was cheap plastic, floppy garbage, it had LEDs, ooh, just to make up for the fact that the figure itself was bad. I didn't like that one bit, but this one, yes. I'm happy I got this one. So I can recommend this one, if you like Soul Calibur, if you like Sofitia, this figure is amazing, buy it with the game or try to find it, man, there's probably some people selling this figure without the game. So uh, yeah, definitely worth my time and I hope she's also worth your time. So that's gonna do it already guys, thank you very much for watching, don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff and whatever Sofitia wants.